quick video on the um, KS600 oil pump system. Now, um, this took me a bit of a while. I've actually fiddled around the whole of yesterday with this one. Uh, however, it's now working. And if you look at the website, I'll show you how to fix and adjust the pump to make sure it's right. And then once it's right, it should work like this. You should literally be able to turn it by hand and it'll work. Down there is the oil pump, of course. And the flow of oil is literally through that tube there, up from the sump into the pump. Pump goes this direction, counterclockwise. Squirts the oil through here into this previously used filter chamber that's unused nowadays. You can sometimes you see them fitted with this brass jet here, which is just basically a one mil jet to filter some sediment before it rises up here through the block. You can just see the channel there where it goes up and inspection and cleaning hole there. The oil then squirts out to feed the front crankshaft bearing, makes way up this tube, all the way along here, into one of these radiators, it's to the same thing, just got two inspection holes on it. And then into the top of this radiator, once it fills a certain level, it drops down in here and comes out of there to feed the rear crankshaft bearing. That goes down into another one mil hole there which then drips down to feed the bearing and splashes in to feed the rear needle bearing there. Makes its way along here. Another inspection hole, straight down, squirts out through this hole, which goes behind the bronze plate. Got two slots in it, so it doesn't matter which way around you put it. Then trickles into there to feed the bearing there. It's front of the camshaft. The one you can't see at the moment, just about make out the distance over there, is fed purely by splashing oil from the crankshaft. And that's pretty much it. Now, if we, this is how it should function. If you literally spin it up by hand, you see a bit of an air bubble coming out. There we go. It's starting to splurge quite nicely. And in there, you'll see it squirting out through that hole. And that's how it should function. We've obviously got the pressure release screw down there, the ball bearing on it, which you can adjust if you want to. But if yours isn't working like that, I wouldn't run the motor. Now these holes in here are absolutely tiny as well. That one there is a one mil, and it does collect some rubbish from the radiator. So it's a good idea to take it all apart and flush it with some petrol or something. And there we go.